thankful for the weather, first of all, that it held off and that we got it in, and thankful for everybody that came to the game. Not the best conditions to watch baseball in, and thought Mason commanded the fastball good today, and Connor made it look awful easy, and uh, some guys put together some good at-bats. I was going to ask about Connor. Uh, he hasn't given up a single earned run this far this season. Uh, what, what do you think has made him so effective? Do you think it's him being a senior or just him? Uh, it's pitch to pitch. It's executing pitches. And generally in baseball, you don't talk about that stuff, you know. But I guess you can since the game's over. He's uh, He hadn't thrown a lot of innings, but he was he was very efficient today. And with the weather forecast, it helped today. I mean, because they're saying it's supposed to start raining hard here in a minute. And then what else? Did, what did you see from Max? He got his first start since opening day. Uh, what What did you kind of like about him, and what made uh, you want to start him? Uh, wasn't going to going into today. Uh, I talked to Dean his dad this morning. We were talking about probably need to wait till the weekend, and he's had uh, muscle pull, and uh, he's moving around really good in bat practice. And Brian felt like Brian's our trainer. Between the two of us, felt like if we could play him four or five innings and see how he feels tomorrow, it would be good for him. And so that's what we did. All right. And then kind of same thing with Dylan, first start at third base. What did you like from him? I know in the first inning he had a little hiccup, but. Yeah. Dylan's a, Dylan's a baseball player. And so we like those guys. We like, you know, those guys you can uh, move around a little bit. He's a, he's a tough kid. He gives you good at bats. He likes playing. Uh, and uh, you know, he's he's going to be able to play, you know, in the infield or the outfield. Right. Yeah, what have you liked from Brian Brian Klein so far? I know he kind of had a rough start to the season, and then he was just named the Big Twelve Player of the Week, and then he had that double play. I think it was like the seventh inning. Something. Yeah. Um, Brian's solid. He's you know he shows up to play every day and had a good weekend. Um, you know, and weekend's done now. It's time. To Move on, and uh, he uh, got. A, I'm looking at the stat sheet. You know, he had a couple hits today, and I know he probably felt like he gave a couple at bats away for him. Uh, you know, within the game, he probably probably wants to compete a little bit better, pitch to pitch at times, but it's going to happen from time to time. And I know you don't like to look at him as freshmen. You look at him as a baseball player. But what have you seen from uh, like Cal? Uh, Nate, uh, there's another one, Dylan Carter. What have you seen from them um, as of early? Those guys like playing. I mean, they, they'll play where, wherever you say, let's go play, and whoever you say, go play. And um, they're all learning a little bit as they go. And there's a lot of potential within all those guys. And uh, the harder, you know, the, the better they prepare, you know, the more they'll embrace each moment as we go. And I kind of want to ask about the bullpen as well. Y'all have been pretty good coming out of the bullpen, and y'all have been giving up too many runs. Kind of can you speak about the strength and depth of it? Uh, we've got a lot of arms down there. We've got we've got some guys that uh, have bought into executing pitches and not just throwing hard. And uh, it's going to be fun to watch those guys, you know, come together as the year goes. <clears throat> and then can you speak about uh, John McMillan? This past weekend, I think he had like seven strikeouts and eight batters faced or something like that. Yeah, he was. Uh, he pitched on Friday and then he pitched on Saturday and uh, gave us some big innings. Uh, John's, you know, he's it's real stuff. It's uh, it's a real guy. It's a guy with a lot of confidence and a lot of aggression. Uh, going to be aggressive and um, you know he's a guy that uh, we're going to count on. Oh, good. A uh, big thing for me today was my fastball command, you know, working it in and out. Uh, you know, started with the curveball uh, first time around in the order, you know, and as the, winnings, uh, as the innings got, uh, went on, kind of used my change up a little bit and just started mixing more. Did the rain have any effect on your pitching at all? Yeah, no, it definitely did, and that's something you kind of got to work with as a pitcher. Um, but. You know, if the ball's slippery, I mean, obviously you can change it out. Uh, that mound got a little slick at times, but it definitely uh, made me kind of have to focus up a little bit more. Is there anything specifically that you do when it's raining? Like, do you do anything different? Do you, like, throw different pitches? Or? 
Uh, I wouldn't say as far as like on the mound, no. Um, but, you know, in between innings, uh, maybe stay inside or stay dry, stay warm. And then what what can you speak about the fielding, the guys behind you? I know you only struck out three batters today, but you only gave up one run in five innings. Yeah, yeah, the, those guys uh, those guys can definitely field, and it's nice to have, uh, you know, have nine guys or eight guys out there that you know can, can you know, get every ball that's, that's in their reach. Um, you know, I mean, it's a team game. You definitely got to put your trust in, in your teammates that are on the field, so it's nice to have them out there. And then what have you seen from the young guys like Dylan Carter and uh, Cal Conley at shortstop? What have you, what have you seen – since they're so young, young, kind of taking filling big roles. <clears throat> yeah, they're definitely take, uh, filling in, filling in those roles real well. Uh, obviously, they're they're making plays left and right. I mean, Dylan Carter had a great catch out there in center field today, and you know uh, they're doing good both at the plate, you know, grinding out at bats, uh, putting the ball in play. Um, but it's just kind of cool to watch these young guys uh, play as if they've been here many times. And then. Like you said, it's your third win of the season. How are you kind of feeling overall being a starter, midweek starter, being pretty reliable? Good. I mean, it's it's a position that someone's got to fill, and I'm glad I'm the guy to do it. Uh, you know, I'm just going to try to do my best every time and just get better as I go. And then can you speak about the bullpen and what it kind of, how it kind of makes you feel knowing that you have guys that can close the games for you after, even if you give up a couple runs, they could – Kind of back your pitching. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, every single one of our guys in the pen can can throw the ball very hard and uh, and accurately. And it's nice to have guys that you know when they come in, they'll pick you up uh, whether you give up runs or not. Uh, you know, they'll hold the door. They won't let let anyone else uh, cross that plate. What do you think as a pitcher? Like, what do you th what do you think that McMillan does <clears throat> to be able to strike batters out so effectively and be so good at what he does? Um. John definitely does a good job at throwing the ball hard. I think everyone knows that. And, you know, his work ethic is a big part of that. But from the pitching side of it, he's he's really good at, at competing every pitch and, you know, not working one pitch at a time, whether that be a fastball or a slider, whatever, whatever he's throwing. He's really good at um, staying locked in every single pitch. And then kind of the same, kind of the same question, but for Connor Queen. He hasn't given up a single earned run this season. What, what do you think makes him so effective and be able to just get in and get out? I'd say the same thing for the most part. Um, you know, they both kind of work pitch to pitch. Um, but I would say Connor does a does a good job at mixing a little bit more. Um, you know, he doesn't have as much as a, of a power fastball as John, but he's got his, his curveball that's really, really well, really works for him. And, uh, you know, overall he just does what John does and, and – tries to be better every pitch. And have, have you kind of learned anything with both of them being seniors, you being a sophomore, have you learned anything or taken anything away from both of them? Definitely, yeah. No, they, they're they good leaders. You know, they, I've kind of watched what they do, try to follow their footsteps a little bit. Um, you know, they both work hard and uh, on and off the field. Uh, just try to kind of put that to my daily routine. Um, but as far as pitching, you know, what we all try to work on is being better every outing and, and being better every pitch. So that's something I kind of try to try to follow them by. And then kind of the same thing with Jacob Brustowski. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know he's a left-hander. There's not too many left-handers on the team. What have you kind of taken away from him and just how good he's been this season? Hasn't given up a run either. <clears throat> yeah, he's a really big arm for us. And he's, he's just fun to watch. Uh, you know, he's – it's kind of funny watching him because he's such a nice guy. Uh, but then when he's on the mound, he's like, he's a different person, you know. He's ready to go at it, and it's fun to watch him, especially because um, he kind of has that dog mentality, you know. Like, you're not gonna beat me. I'm better than you, and he does a really good job at showing that. And and he does get better every pitch. And I think the few outings he's had, he's pro uh, progressively gotten better and better, which that's really cool to watch. All right, and then the last thing for me is, have you felt anything kind of different from this time last year? In how you are now, you know, a couple starts under your belt. Yeah, uh, I would say I feel different in the fact uh, of experience-wise. You know, I, I kind of know what it's like to throw at the stage. I know, you know, how the crowd's going to be and how, how the competition is. Um, you know, last year was new for me, 
I never had really done that before. <clears throat> but as far as the pitching side, you know, I try to just work small and just do the best I can, um, pitch to pitch, outing to outing.